Hi children, good morning. How are you? Are you watching the videos? Yes, watch it. Then, welcome back to our session. What's our topic? Motion and time. So, in the last class, we have learnt about the speed. So, what's the formula to find the speed? Distance travelled by time taken. And we have seen the triangle also. By using of the triangle, we can find the time, we can find the distance travelled and as well as we can find the speed also. Is it children? Yes. So, today's class is about what is mean by speedometer? Have you seen the speedometer children? I will show. Then what is odometer? What is the difference between the speedometer and what is the difference between the odometer? Let me see now. Speedometer. A speedometer is a device that measures and displays the instantaneous speed of a vehicle. Instantaneous speed of a vehicle. That means on the vehicle or the bike or car, you can see the round one. I, I can show you the picture children. So, this round one itself, it shows the needle how much speed you are moving. Is it? Yes. That itself, it is the speedometer. So, a speedometer is a device that measures and displays the instantaneous speed of a vehicle. Then, what do you mean by odometer? Odometer is an instrument for measuring the distance travelled by a vehicle. How much distance we have travelled? How much speed we are moving? It shows for us the speedometer. Then, how much distance we have travelled? It shows the odometer. So, what do you mean by odometer? Odometer is an instrument for measuring the distance travelled by a vehicle. So, odometer records the distance travelled by a vehicle in kilometers. There, it will be showing the reading for us. Is it children? Yes. So, it will be in the kilometers from our school to uh, Chinsandra or this side, Bagepalli or Chitagata if you want to travel. So, we will be travelling. How much speed? So, our vehicle is showing the speed through the speedometer. Then, how much distance is there? How much we have travelled? It shows our speedometer. Then, what is the difference between these two speedometer and odometer? Odometer measures miles travelled. Miles, kilometers. How much distance we have travelled? It is going to show for us. Then, a speedometer measures how fast we are travelling. That only I told. So, how much fast we are travelling? It shows by the speedometer. Then, an odometer measures the miles in travel. See the picture. Inside itself, we are having the odometer reading. And as well as, it shows the needle. That is nothing but the speedometer. Okay. So, this is the about speedometer and as well as the odometer. Next, let me go for the distance time graph. How we are going to denote the graph? So, here the different types of graphs over there I will show for you children. That is bar graph, pie graph, how we are going to denote and how we are going to write it. I will show through a small video. So, by this let me end up our session and also we have completed the chapter. Okay. Bye children. Here we can see the speedometer and as well as odometer. So, odometer here down we can see that kilometer per hour 4, 5, 2, 3, 6. It is showing how many kilometers we have travelled. And this total instrument is nothing but the speedometer. It is showing the needed 80 kilometer speed we are travelling. Okay. So, this is the picture of speedometer and odometer. Now, let me see the distance time graph. This is usually drawn as a line graph as it taken two variable quantities. So, distance and time. In a distance time graph, distance is considered on the 
y axis and time is considered on the x axis y axis means it is vertical x axis means it is horizontal so here is the picture below an example of how to prepare a distance time graph based on data so here it has given the data for us car is move car moving from point a uh, to point f through b c d and e so where is the car starting it's on a and it is ending f in the middle we are having the points of b c d e is it yes so a point starting there is no distance and time speed b 5 kilometers the time it has taken 20 minutes speed 15 c distance is 15 time is 45 speed is 20 d the distance is 30 time is 70 minutes and the speed is 25.7 km per hour then e 40 kilometers 100 minutes time then 24 km per hour speed at last which we are going to reach the place is 60 kilometers it has traveled in 120 minutes time so 120 minutes is nothing but 2 hours is it children yes so speed is 30 kilometers now let me see the graph I see children so already I, sh I have told for you the time we have taken on the x axis then the distance we have taken on the y axis. See the graph 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140 is the time in minutes. Then distance in kilometers 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now some of the points to be kept on the mind while choosing the most suitable scale for drawing a graph. So what's that? Determine the maximum quantity to be taken to each axis. Then divide this maximum quantity in smaller equal parts so that it is easy to mark the points. The number of equal parts to be taken depends upon the data available. So here we have uh, already we are having the points. 0 means it's 0. Then 10. How many kilometers it has traveled? 10 kilometers means the time it has taken as 20 minutes. Then after that 15 means it has taken the 40 so like this first we have to mention the points then join the points we are going to get the graph is it children so slope calculation using dt graph dt is nothing but distance travel distance time graph so this one also slope of the distance time graph is also the speed at very instant higher the slope greater the speed of that object below we can see the graph here here we can see the types of motions using the distance time graph the first one object when it is in the uniform motion we can see that the it is moving in the uniform then when the object is at rest position so the graph will be like this object in non-uniform motion non-uniform means speed will be different and time will be different what's the traveling distance also will be the different that is nothing but the non-uniform motion it will be the graph like this then object in non-uniform motion so like this also it can so this is about the speed that means the distance and time graph okay thank you children